A new option has been added into the bearing labeling defaults where you can specify the number of spaces to place between the degrees, minutes, and seconds values in a bearing or azimuth label. The default style, with zero spaces, will draw a label like this one here. But let's change to style number two and set it to use one space between the quadrant code and the angle, which is an existing option, and also one space between the degrees, minutes, and seconds values in the angle. If I label another line, you can see the result with the spaces. If we go back into my labeling defaults and use style number three with three spaces, let's label one more line here. and you can see the difference.